Hey, what's going on, you wonderful weirdos? I'm Pocan Joe, and as always, you're pretty cool for swinging by. Today, I'm at a unique comic meetup. It's not a comic con, but it's a meetup where you can kind of get deals done if you're into collecting the heavy end stuff and, you know, items like that. Uh, picked up a few things, and then we're going to do a walkthrough. But first, let's do that beautiful intro. Man, do I love that intro, it's pretty cool. Let me show you what I picked up so far and we'll probably run through and do a quick walkthrough of this entire thing here. It's very small, it's at a brewery called Vanguard. Uh, great beer here, by the way. If you're ever in Hampton, Virginia, definitely eat the food here, check everything out. It's definitely awesome. A lot of cool people in the industry here from all walks of life, from collectors to flippers to artists and anything that could possibly be is. But let me show you what I picked up thus far. Um, there's a certain comic books when I see at a good deal, I have to pick them up. And this is definitely one of them. Deadpool number one, right? I mean, you can't help but do it. Ryan Reynolds has been doing a good job at it, so why not? Going a little older in comic books, we got Where Monsters Dwell, number one right there. Again, I love my monster covers, so this really worked out for me. And they're willing to deal here. I actually only got that for 10 bucks. And I mean, it is in, it's in good condition. Uh, moving on, one of my favorites is Where Monsters Dwell, number 14. This cat just recently made an appearance in the Immortal Hulk in the last issue that we saw there, where, you know, they wanted their own Hulk. That's the guy. So that was really cool to get that. I'm very happy. Punisher, number one. Now that the hype's kind of come down on the whole Punisher thing, this is actually becoming a very affordable book. Uh, also, Captain America, number 25. We've all seen it. It's like my third copy of this. Again, it's one of those books. When I see cheap enough, I just go ahead and grab it. This is the steal of the day. This is Iron Man, number 128. Yes, the demon in the bottle issue where somebody has to deal with their alcoholism. And the thing, I bought that at a pub. Ironic? A little? I don't know. Uh, let's see here, Dazzler number one. Picked this up on a sweet price too, and they, it's in Mylar. That's awesome. Uh, DC Universe Rebirth. First print, so that was really cool. Normally I see the second print of these. I don't see a whole lot of the first print. I always pick this up when I see it too. The Amazing New Adventures of Superman. This is number 241, the failed issue. Again, the prices here are stupid. Like I'm not even having to haggle here. Everybody's just really cool at these things. And for my own personal collection, my Golden Age collection, I have something kind of unique and rare. Um, I picked up Plastic Man, number 46. I just love that cover. That's a cool cover. And the find of the day. I was surprised to find this. Um, the Exciting Adventures of Black Cat. And it's number 64, which was the last issue. This is actually a very hard comic book to find. And the guy gave me a very good price on it. I thought it was more than fair. Like, he made the offer, and I just went, yep, I got it. So, those are my hauls. I may pick up a few other things, but we're going to go ahead and do a walk around as well, uh, just so we can see. And you're going to notice a lot of the same people that I've dealt with in the past. They're all here. Everybody's having a good time. we got some people dressed up weird. we got kids hanging out in the brewery. we got adults drinking. It's awesome. So, let's uh, take a quick break and uh, get the camera set up for a walk around. See you in a second. Okay, so let's start the walk around. This should be a very short trip, but it is still a cool brewery. Let's check it out together. Let's make this happen. There's obviously the brewery there. This guy's got some pretty cool stuff up on his shelf. But I can sell it. Of course, it wouldn't be a beat up without the long boxes. That's what we got going on over here. Give you whatever else you need. Ooh, look at that Moon Knight. 20 bucks. Seriously, a Moon Knight number one, 20 bucks with all the hype right now? That is awesome. I have all the paper Deadpool. Everybody has a paper girl type thing going on. I, have, I, mean, I have every Deadpool cover A that you need. Like, That's I have awesome. entire room. I'm loving it. Yeah, I need, um, she doesn't need it. I need it. Let's have a good one. Oh, this 
guy's got some stuff. Yeah. There's my comic book guy. What's going on, Wayne? <laughs> Here's some of the cheaper books. Even as priced as marks, it's still like five dollars, mostly because it's all going to a charity. Pretty cool. Wouldn't be a brewery without comfortable couches. There's kind of the, the thing they're doing this year, the branding. And then we're gonna go upstairs. First off, check this brewery out. real quick about the Eastern Virginia Comic Con collectors? Uh, I mean, I, I'm part of the group, but I, uh, I don't run it or anything. I was just making the shirt for them. You got things to say about it? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty so good group. So far, so good. So far, so good? Yeah, it's a, it's a good group of people, you know, uh, in, on this part of uh, Virginia, you know, um, selling comics, dealing comics, getting together, everything pretty much comics. It's a good group of people. It's the community and family together. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Well, I'm Pocan Joe. I'm YouTube famous. Oh, okay. oh, my audience is laughing right now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. the guys I mostly deal with when it comes to my collections. Big Silver Age. This guy's got the Golden Age stuff over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's see. He's kind of the Golden Age officiator. This guy hooked us up with some deals today, too. He's got all kinds of great stuff. There's like small collections, but this is the stuff right here. Check this out. I can figure out how to hook a button. We'll take care of that in editing. <laughs> That's cool. Batman number seven, all flash. There's, there's a little something for you. Oh, you Hulk 181 people? There you go. I don't care what anybody says, first appearance was 180. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool stuff. We have some technical difficulties here. Alright, get the toys. Pretty sad. We've 
got some got a local artist here. There you go, baby Yoda. Now, if you know this guy right here, this is the troublemaker. This is the, <laughs> the brains behind Delta Dogs right here. You know I've read these. I've given them nothing but thumbs up. It's a great book. As a matter of fact, we got to pick up our next two issues. You have them ready for you. And let me set this down. Y'all get to see a transaction online. <laughs> Let's get a picture of them so everybody can see them. So we're going to read these and review these. Probably not tonight, but we'll get to them. Definitely. And this is uh, six, or no, seven and eight. What are you, sir? So, ten. Oh, gotcha. All right. Processing, processing. <laughs> May it never be said, I don't pay for my comic books. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Any well, quick shout outs about the story? Where can we get it again? Oh, man. Go to Comic Kings of Virginia Beach. And we're actually expanding into the Newport News, just the local Hampton Roads area. And also, you can follow us on Facebook, Millennial Comics. And then also, we actually have a website, MillennialComics.com. Nice. Definitely check out that website. It's pretty dope. All right, man. Thanks again. We'll see you at the next one. Take it easy. <laughs> it is a uh, local. That's why I always have to put it out there. Drew Moss. Oh, and that's who it is. <laughs> How you doing, sir? I'm wonderful. You should be familiar with some of his books. Yeah. Yay. Is that Nightcrawler you're working on right now? It is. You want to see him? Yeah. There he is. Oh, wow. Nightcrawler. That's good, Doug. I, I, I like it. This one's be, will be on its way to China tomorrow. China? <laughs> yeah, I have to, uh, you have to put their phone number because in China, uh, customs calls the people who gets it. Uh. So they come and pick it up. So you have to put their phone number in. And also, I find like if you, I found out when you PayPal now, you have to tell the Chinese bank your PayPal name. Uh. I mean, I don't know if that's mainland. I don't know about Hong Kong or anything. But mainland, you have to tell them that, hey, you're transferring money to PayPal. Because they have a different internet then. Yeah. Yeah, so. Mm. I don't know. I thought it was crazy. It took like three or four days to get paid. Mm. Yeah. But it was fun. Right. Oh, wait, I gotta get that, yeah. <laughs> How you guys been doing? Fantastic. All right. How do we get a hold of one of your comic books if we don't live in the great state of Virginia? All right, what are you going to do? When I do come out with more of them, all you got to do is go on to brianlaceyart.com. I'll have them readily available. Nice. And we can order it straight from there. Yes. Honestly, it's a good book. I always get them from my local comic book shop. Good stuff. And I think my wife bought like half of these things and filled up an entire room with them. You're welcome. It makes Christmas easy for me, that's for sure. <laughs> and there's some of his blank covers that he gets. Oh, the true that's hilarious. Mandalorian. Man, so good. I wish I was talented. Let's take a look at these two. Yeah, if he's showing it off, we'll, we'll show it off. All right, got some good Skywalker action. Batman and Wives. Deadpool. Oh, man, Logan. And, oh, got a little Gambit action there. There we go. Nice. Great stuff, my man. Thank you very much. Oh, he's got signs up. Let's see what this cat's got going on. We can turn this thing around. about my books. <laughs> nice. We will ask you about your books, sir. <laughs> you ignore an 80 unit times. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? Tell us who you are and, and uh, what do you do? I'm Dan. Uh, I, uh, Dan Noakes. I'm a writer, artist, um, so publisher, jack of all trades, master of none. I've been doing comics and uh, other related items for 18 years professionally. 
Um, I live out of Richmond currently and am working on uh, my current book called Chicken USDA Rejected, which is based on this guy. Think of it as uh, Fear and Loathing at Comic-Con. Fear and Loathing at Comic-Con. I, I like it. Copies of my current book, Impossible Space Tales on the Last Pit Stop. What if Area 51 were a convenience store for aliens? Think, uh, That'd be awesome. Yes, think uh, <laughs> Clerks Beats Men in Black. They come to Earth for the same reason you go to Alabama to get food, to get fuel, and to get out. Nice. <laughs> I like it. This is some of your work here? Yeah, this is my prints, uh, my sketch covers, original art. Um, I did the Baltimore Comic Con yearbook uh, for the last few years in a row, so I have a picture in there. Yeah, we were just up there, our whole channel was. We were with the uh, Comic Corps up there. Gotcha, gotcha. Nice. But yeah, uh, that's what I do, so feel free to take a look around. Nice. If we want to get a hold of your stuff, where do we go? Uh, www.21sandshark.com. 21sandshark.com. All right. Matter of fact. Oh. Flyers always help. Yes. Our website. There we go. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. Well, last shot. It'll, it'll get fixed in that interview. <laughs> hey, are Star Wars hot right now? Everybody's got Star Wars hot. And here's this beautiful bureau. I mean, oh my goodness. They also have liquor here, too. Yeah, Virginia is one of those places. Hey, man, we got. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> and then back down to the main floor. So that's pretty much it for our Comic Con. Like I said, it's pretty small, but it's pretty cool with the brewery and everything. So we're going to go ahead and get this done because I don't know if you're allowed to drink on YouTube or not. But I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good day. Bye.